What's up, Mike? I see tools. I see tools. <laughs> Might have been too loud. Hold on. All right. Trying to figure out this. Uh, I guess the chats are the comments on YouTube. I'm just trying to get those into the Hangout toolbar too. I don't know. I think I got it. Talking. <laughs> oh, sorry. Can you hear me? I can't hear you. Probably a lot of background noise going on. All right, I got to figure it out. It was all on my end. All right. <laughs> so I just messing with this uh, this tripod with a with I just put a quarter inch knot on the bottom of it. No. So because my uh, my webcam that I use, it's got like a clip over top of where am I? It looks like this. Yeah. It, it like it goes over top of like the it clips on a monitor. Yeah, it's kind of like what I got. It's a pain in the ass for it if you're trying to put it on something other than a monitor. And this one is a pain in the ass on a monitor. It clips on everything else. <laughs> <laughs> this one, if the monitor is goofy shaped, it just wants to go with the contour of the goofy monitor. And yeah. Yeah. Where's Tim? That's Joe. Joe. That's Joe. Oh, it's Joe. Um, he, that's Joe. He just waved to you. Yeah. yeah. He waved to you. He waved to you. See, he's waving. <laughs> Hi. 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 <laughs> what are you doing? What are you doing? Tell him you're being a pain in the butt. You no, know, Daddy, in the garden today. No, not today. Daddy been editing all day. <laughs> yeah, I know what that's like. Yeah, I set up. I got this. This one, my live cam going now, and I was gonna set up another cam to record, and then doing like a little bonus video or something. With I'm not sure yet. All right. It's it's all in the trial error here. We're trying to figure this out. <sighs> Yeah, it was well. Tart. I had a bunch of other projects they kind of flooded me with today. Just some editing shit for. They do that to me all the time. I don't hear from them for three days, and then they give me like fucking four projects while I'm doing my own. <laughs> so I looked at my old, I looked at my old lady. I go give up your computer too. <laughs> She's like, "Fuck you." She left this morning, so that gave me plenty of time to get shit done. You see that video I did? Yeah. Yeah, it looks good, man. We're all stepping our game up. I like that. <laughs> you know, with editing and stuff like that, you know, it's looking good. Everything, everybody's starting to, like, care about what they're putting out, you know? I purposely didn't do it, though. I, I like it. Billy and I had a conversation about this. When I first started doing this channel, I was already an editor. You know, I was doing this shit at home, so I was like, I didn't want to, you know, I was trying to play it off, I yeah. guess, as a simple homesteader living from my house. I didn't want everybody to think that I was some, you know, fucking editing, whatever, you know, or even, I didn't even want people to know off the bat that I did acting, because I didn't want them to think it was fake, you know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, at, in the beginning, I just, in that, and I didn't really get to know anybody, for say, that did editing and shit, so like. When I met Billy, I was like, fuck it. He actually said something. Why don't I? Because he noticed I did certain little things that, I don't know, I guess a lot of people just didn't do. <laughs> and most people just take it for yeah, granted. Man, he, he, most people he's just take an inspiration, man. He inspired me to do stuff. Well, I, yeah, I can tell by seeing your you work. You know what I mean? Yeah. No, it was just, finally I had an equal. He, he pushed That's me all right along. That's for sure. 
I, I guess all it was was finally when I got to know him, I finally had an equal, and he noticed the little things that I already did. That See, I still did little shit, but most people just took it for granted, so I knew they would never notice it. But one day he made a comment on a video. I don't even remember which one it was. He's like, why don't you do more of that editing shit like you did there? And then I told him the same thing I told you. I didn't really want people to know. <laughs> But then as time went on, I got to know him mm. better. I was like, you know what? He's at least an equal. He does shit like that. I got somebody to talk to about it now, you know. Yeah, run, Yeah, bounce ideas. Exactly. That's what, that's what I'm trying to do here is just trying to, right. you know, incorporate the viewer and bounce, bounce ideas off. Right. Trying to get different ideas in the shop. I mean, you've seen that music video I, I did that I showed you guys that one night. Yep. That was about six years old. <laughs> Four, I, I would say it took like, we recorded it, and then it probably took like, I don't know, a few months to do all the editing in between shit I already had going on. But yeah, I mean, like I said, I've been doing it for a long time. It's just I didn't want to, originally didn't put it in my channel. But then I figured out how to incorporate gardening and homesteading and be funny about it and act things out and people get into it now. It just, I don't know, I guess it just, like I said, find somebody that kind of did the same thing I did and then went from there. I'm going to try a different view here. You got it clipped on your stand? I will have in a second here, yep. I go see where oh, we well. <laughs> there you go. I'll be right back. Yep. I just wanted to see where the monster baby went. Everybody ditched me today. <laughs> well, my oldest daughter went somewhere with her boyfriend. She'll be back sometime tonight. And then the middle daughter, her mom... Just taking her to like a water park. Her birthday was last week, but she's taking her this week to a water park and stuff for her birthday. And Teresa went to work. <laughs> I guess that's a little better. Yeah, that's a decent angle. I mean, kind of see a little more of the shop. Yeah, you can mess. See, see the bench layout. I would say if somebody was to click on it, you know, and see that, that at least gives them a view. Yeah, yeah. I mean, if you start getting into lathe work, you're probably going to want to move it in somehow or at least figure out a plan of attack to move it in quick. Yep. That's kind of what I was setting up here, so I could just clip it off of that, clip it on this, just add one that's over my head here. It's like a boom. Yeah. Yeah, there you go. Did you see the above uh, video shoot spinning? Did you notice that? <laughs> yep, yep, yep. That's I just, that, you know, it's funny. Before I watched your video, it's funny how our brains are working alike, man. I was doing, I was messing around with my uh, tripod with the camera today in the, in the uh, garden, you know, just doing, like, pan shots and, and yeah. messing around. It's kind of funny. I was and actually... I, uh, hooked up, I hooked all this up in the shop, and then I clicked on, and I seen you. I was like, <laughs> oh, there he is. Look at him. We're, we're like, brainwaves are, you know, we're, we're sending messages. <laughs> Well, I was actually, I was all done, and I was actually editing the video, and I'm like, you know, I don't know what it was. I think I was watching a Linkin Park video the other day when they, they I actually seen the making of it. They put a track around them, and a train runs in a circle around them, and they put a camera on the train. Yep. And that, that's what gave me the idea, but an above-ground shot. Instead of looking up at them, I'm looking down at my garden. I was pretty fucking dizzy after, like, the third spin. <laughs> and I actually did three shots of that so I used two of the shots one the camera was in further and one the camera was out further another shot I just threw in the trash <laughs> after that I was like fuck this shit I'm too old to be spinning in goddamn circles I'm going in <laughs> yeah right I go back in the house trees like you're done already I told you I just needed some spinny things <laughs> there's a <clears throat> blank of poplar that I Spun out yes, yesterday. It was it an actual chunk of tree? Uh, it was a uh, four by four. Where, yeah, four by four. Sweet. You ever tried taking a chunk of tree and spinning it? Yep. 
Yep, yeah. I have uh, a piece of cherry that I... Oh, there you go. Sweet. I, I, I left it split, you know, the split-like look on yeah. the side just to... So you can see it? Yeah, just to kind of show that it was, a, you know, it was a piece of split wood at one time. Right. Nothing special. It was just something I was just screwing around with. That's cool. But, Uh, yeah, I still got boxes on the shelf here from past builds that I just got to finish them up. That's cool. No bottoms. I had something in mind the other day, and for the life of me, I can't think of it. I wanted to, like, get a hold of you as soon as I see him, but you weren't on. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck it was, either. And I, the idea of this, you know, the door comes out. Right. It's just a small little piece of plexiglass holding it in, so I'm losing the face. Cool. Oh, I yeah, this is. I remember what I was thinking now. I was just going to tell you about the idea. Um, as Orthos goes on a little bit, because I'm going to start working on him here too. Um, yep. Eventually, it, it's going to sound funny, but the Orthos survival kit. Okay? And basically, you open up a box. It'll be like a handmade wooden box. And look rough, rough finish or maybe old looking. And you open it up and fit it would be a, a small axe, a harmonica, a bottle of Jack Daniels, and um, what else did I have in there? Oh, a mess kit. <laughs> nice. I thought that would be cool. You close it up, it'd be like the Orthos or the Hillbilly Survival Kit or the fucking Redneck Survival Kit. This is a piece of powder oak. Yeah. That's and uh, I, I put the grooves in the corner because I'm going to uh, put a little fill inlay in there. Yeah. That's and cool. And then uh, that's the top. That's cool. Yeah, it's just, it's just pallet wood with some stain what, on it. Yeah, I was going to say, uh, what would you put on for a finish? Just a clear or something? Um, I believe it was actually an ebony. Oh, okay. I got and I just I, I just lightened it up and then hit it again. I think uh, I, I hit it, I sanded it, and then hit it, and then I stained it again. I got. I thought I had a can of that sitting next to me, but the one I got here is Provincial. Uh, I wasn't overly excited about the way it looked, but yeah, I was I was pretty surprised the way this with all the uh, wormholes and everything coming out pretty cool. Uh, that fucker did look cool. Yeah, kind of old making, and rustic. I was making a lot of, like, last year for flea markets, I was making, like, planter boxes and fucking uh, birdhouses and shit, but I, I found a lot, like the birdhouses, man, I would try to find the wormiest, nastiest looking wood I could, and I made yep. them all like outhouses. But in fact, I just... You know, Can you see your screen? Yep. This is one that I didn't finish last year. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, I didn't drill the hole in it or nothing, but I got the half moon and the door handle and shit. Hell yeah. He sold a bunch of them, like bigger ones. I was getting like 30 bucks for them, man. People were just like for in their house and shit. They didn't actually want to use them. I didn't put no stain or nothing on this fucker. See, that's Sorry. cool. You know, this is what I like. We could just like... Uh, Bullshit! Show our stuff off. This is yeah, this is yeah. just a piece of cedar. This is a uh, native cedar, red cedar from around here, eastern. That's I like cedar, but the only thing I got with cedar is it makes me sneeze if I fuck with it too much. You know, and you're sanding cedar and fucking with cedar, man. I'm mad. This shit gets on my nerves. I don't like it myself. Yeah. that one's cool. <laughs> yeah, I got a bunch of these up here. 
They're all for sale. What was that? <laughs> so they're all for sale. Right. Everything for sale. I suppose if the right person came up, I'd sell this too. There's a little one. I do little boxes too. Little guy. Yeah, that's cool. Like a cigar box almost. I got a, a buddy of mine owned a cigar shop, and he gets uh, one of my favorite cigars was uh, Acids. And the box that it comes in, oh, I got to show you that box. It's really cool. I want to build a couple like it. Yeah. A little bit better higher higher. Hey, can you see this one? Yeah, a chair I could bring in here. See how they did all the corners? Looks like you froze up. Or I froze up, one of the two. I can see you. Can you see me? Can you hear me? I can't, I can't see nothing right now. Huh. That's weird. Word. Come on now. Peekaboo. Uh oh. <laughs> I still see you and hear you. Can't see me at all, eh? So I can hear I can hear you, but I can't see you. Uh, oh there you are. So I say I can see myself talking. <laughs> Need some more artificial lighting in this room. All right, let's try this again. Ready? This is the box on the top, and then okay, it's the guy standing next to a bike, right? Yeah. There's the top, but then you can see the was that a dovetail? Uh, box joint, yep. Box joint, yeah, I did that on the corners. I just thought it was a really sweet box, and the hinge itself is an actual doll pin. And they actually, how do I explain it? They actually put, if you look right here, this piece of wood right here, that's yep. like a like a car door. It actually has a stop position in there. It actually holds the thing open. There's like a cam lobe that the pin rides through, and then that piece of wood... It's probably like an eighth inch, not even that, sixteenth of an inch, and it just rides on the cam. And the cam is like right here. I'm going to have to get yeah, some better, a better picture of that. For me. Yeah, yeah, I should probably take it with my HD and show you, but this thing's just, just a so really can, cool box. I might be able to replicate that. Yeah, it's just a really neat box. I don't know. And then the bottom, hell, the bottom, well, I guess they did do a glue piece on it. almost looked like one piece, but you can see where they glued it on. Yeah. Uh, this box full cost you a couple hundred bucks. <laughs> right? He used to give me a decent deal on them when he had the shop. He'd order them just for me because he knew I'd buy them, but he closed the shop a couple years ago. Just going to... Try and readjust this camera one more time here. What's up? I'm gonna try and readjust this camera one more time here. Something bling. Who's blinging at me? No. Um. Hey, do we have enough? Some... My old, everybody always tries to get a hold of me on Facebook. Uh -huh. 
shit. Are you still there? Where? I lost you. There you are. Pushing too many buttons. There we go. Feel better. Yeah, you should. The first comment I got on that video today was some lady complaining. <laughs> <laughs> She said, I, I really, really got into it until about a minute and 37 seconds, and uh, you really ought to keep in consideration people with, uh, I don't know, something or other. And she's like, I really got dizzy, and she goes, I really want to see your work, but I can't watch your video. <laughs> and to be honest with you, I already kept that in mind, so I already did clips for a part two so I could be serious about it. I already yep. figured people would be like, dude, it didn't show nothing. <laughs> Showed a lot of shit, but not me telling you about it. Yeah, you were just having fun. Yeah. Well, like I said, I already kept it in mind, so I just kept all the clips, the originals, which were actually, I did go out there and walk through it. <laughs> I just, I came in and I looked at it, I'm like, man, I was in a groggy mood. I wasn't upbeat like I normally am in my videos. I was like, ah. And then all of a sudden the whole... Oh, why runway thing came to mind. It was funny, you know Roosevelt, don't you? Yep. Yeah, he left a comment on her. He goes, man, or he goes, why do I feel like I just got glitter all over me? <laughs> Trendy Nay. Where'd he go? They almost popped in for a second. Came there he is. There he is. Oh, there he went. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah, right by the lady real quick. For some reason he's not able to join. That sucks. It, it keeps popping in and out, in and out. Yeah. I can find you. There you go. I go pushing buttons again. Yeah, I was actually, just be, even when you sent me the hangout line, I was outside clearing out a path to do orthos tomorrow. Oh, yeah? Well, it's where I'm going to do them at is I want to use my 50 Pontiac. I just got a bunch of shit around it, so I want to get it pulled up and all the shit moved. Well, I just got a trailer next to it, my tra tractor next to it. But I got to move one to get to the other. <laughs> I'm like, fuck, I got to move my trailer, so I got a truck that I just bought for sale on our side of the yard. I slid it back and was going to move the trailer and shit, and I walked in like, oh, fuck, he sent me the thing. <laughs> so I'll get that car pulled forward. And something, something to do with that car. I just don't know yet. I'm going to send him a link. I don't know if this will help him or not. Who was that? Trendy Nay Live, who's that? Yeah, he's he's a guy I watch I watch him uh, on YouTube a lot. And uh he's pretty cool people, man. I said like a wood guy. Wash, well, he sent me a smiley face. She's like, Do we have anything left for when I get home? I go, As long as I don't smug it. <laughs> <laughs> and then she sent back, She goes, So, what are you planning on doing? <laughs> All right, I sent him a link. Hopefully, maybe that'll help, help him out. Heard from Billy at all today? Uh, look, uh, earlier. Nope, maybe I didn't hear from him earlier. Oh, yeah, I did earlier. But, uh, nothing recent. I didn't answer nothing when I was working. I heard one bling, and I think it was you, but I, I got you like almost an hour later. I was done. I seen you were on there. My phone is still. My phone's busted. I can't see the screen, but it still blings.
the same as a computer. So yep. even though I didn't, even though I didn't have Google Plus on, I heard it blinging, but there was no way I could check it. I'm like, fuck, I don't want to interrupt this. So whoever it is, gotta wait. <laughs> Yeah, originally that video, my old lady wanted to walk down the garden with me and, like, talk about it with me. But, you know, every time I was like, hey, you ready to go down there? She's like, ah, let me do this. Hey, you ready to do this? No, let me do this. <laughs> Gotta go to the hangout here. The thing in reverse. You coming? There we go. Now you get a real view of the shop. There you go. <laughs> and would you do that with... Uh, Dremel. A little Dremel tool. Dremel. Just you'll messing do, around. You will do them by hand? Yeah, I could. You know what I this like? Is, uh, you know what I like doing? Is oak? I like cutting them out like that, but then taking a wood burner and do like the shadow work with a wood burning tool. That yep. makes it really sweet. It's a uh, one. The first, the bottom one's oak, and then the other one's uh, dug fir. Oh, that's cool. I just. Just messing around. Mm -hmm. I gotta go track down my kid. I'll be right back. She's like going down the slide backwards. <laughs> Anybody watching? Um, I don't know how to tell that. I don't either. That's that's where I got to figure out all these bugs and. Get all this stuff worked out so things can go smooth when you know I decide to actually do a pro. Well, I want to do a project, but I just haven't decided what to do yet. Right. And I'm just trying to get the bugs of the hangout and YouTube and get all that worked out. I know, like all the guys on the other community I'm in, they always do test runs. They'll always put like on the headline, you know, don't bother looking. I'm just testing, and they'll sit there for like ten minutes just screwing around. Yeah, well, I figured, hey, you know, somebody wants to pop in and say, hey, why not? You know, I figured I'd do it live and test it that way. I was going to put test in the title, but I don't know. You should put testing. Come bother me. <laughs> yeah, right? It was fire. There's so this... one viewer. That's oh, you. Viewer. That's... <laughs> Hi, me. Yeah, I'm viewer on the hangout. And I don't know how to, uh, I guess I have to go to do it on my own page. I got this. I had to go, I had to sign out to, to view it on my, <clears throat> you know, to view, to, to view the video. Lady's still talking to me, damn it. Ow. Sucks I missed my chiropractor appointment this week. My neck is all freaking locked up again. I keep telling her to call. <laughs> I don't have a phone. Where was it? What? <laughs> I really need to go over. Either call Sprint or something or order a new fucking phone. It just sucks. I'm being cheesy or uh, chintzy about is the word I guess I'm looking for because my contract, I get a new phone in uh, August. And it's like, I don't want to go buy a freaking phone right now when I get a new one in two months, you know. At least I'll get it half off then. So it's like I'm thinking about buying just an eBay special for now just so I got a damn phone to use. Right. I'm just a tight wad when it comes to that. My old lady yells at me for this shit all the time. She's like, just go over to Best Buy and just go get in our damn phone. 
Fuck that, I'm waiting my two months, man. <laughs> <laughs> I said $50. <laughs> Billy's like, watching. Who is? Billy, he's in. Bling. Is that me blinging or are you blinging? No, that's me. Whoops. There we go. Sorry, I had feedback if there was. That was me. Ah, uh, cool. All right. We gonna spin something? I'm gonna try and do something here. Um. Spinning wood. That's what you Zangle. said. Once I get, I'm gonna just do a little setup quick. It should be like piping wood. With you, the, got the, you got the stream you want to say. You got the stream streaming on your YouTube too, don't you? Yeah. I right, go to YouTube quick. Another computer. Ring. I wonder if the yeah. we're still here. Oh yeah, I was just just wondering if the feed is not that great for California or something. Or he just gave up and he didn't mess with me or anything, so hmm. that's trend trending now. I was just trying to figure out because he's a good veteran to be in here to get some pointers off of. Which county you got this under? Which account? Yeah, I think I got like two or three here <laughs> YouTube accounts. Oh, uh, this is under my uh, Big Joe Casulis account. Really? I ain't got it? I do not have that one. That's crazy. It's all right. So, here we go. Just gotta figure out what, uh, what species. Mm. Got a chunk, another chunk of cherry. So we want to see some made out of cherry. I got. See. I can't believe I'm not subscribed to that channel. Yeah, I'm subscribing you real quick. <laughs> I could have sworn I got you. The black walnut? Cool. That's a good piece Going. of work there. I like that one. About two inches thick. That was a good piece of wood there. I like the way that one looks. It's got a nice drain to it. I'm going to make a little noise on the soil here. This is too loud, let me know so I can mute the mic. It's tolerable. Tolerable? So, that's what we're going to start out with, this little block. I'm just going to cut the corners off of it.
Did you measure them all out, like, equally, or just guesstimate it? No, I just roughed it out. I don't know, let's see if I can move you over to the bench now. Thank you, shop boy. Yeah, I got that with the lathe. Did you? I was pretty happy when I've seen that. Yeah, I got a couple of them laying around. I actually looked for them things. That's usually what they came off of. It was usually either an old piece of equipment or they were a dust mount unit. So, well, I, I just use this pulley because it fits on my lathe. I drill some holes in it. And then I can mount different. Alright. Use that to chunk your wood up. Yep. Sweet. It's got to be a pitch lining up for it. Yeah, sometimes if it's not not perfect, it gets a little wobbly. But after a couple of spins, it <laughs> it's squared. Cut, that out, cut the wobble off, you know. <laughs> it trues out. Yeah, it trues out exactly. And gave my pepper plants a fish oil treatment last night. Yeah. Hopefully that'll do that. I can't believe it. Some of them are only like six inches tall and there's peppers growing on them. What the hell's up with that? I got little baby, little, little tiny little baby peppers starting on mine too, and they're not very big. They're just barely coming up out of the ground, maybe like I said, four or six inches. There's one of them I could probably rip off of it and eat it right now. <laughs> I just couldn't believe the pepper is almost bigger than the damn plant. <laughs> so, I don't know. I had this bottle of fish oil left over. I forgot all about it. So, I made like five, well, it was probably about 10 gallons by the time I was done out of it. Just doused them in it. See if that brings them to life. Oh wow, that's, that's an old dog. I didn't even realize the motor with the pulley next to it. Yeah, it's an old dog. Surprised you don't have the cast iron table for it. I can show you the size of the wood that it's on. It's on about a two and a quarter inch slab. It's about 18 inches wide. And it's uh, four, five, five foot long. Big, huge slab. It, it probably weighs about almost 200 pounds, I would say. <laughs> I believe it. You're the rooster. Yeah. <laughs> be like me. Be like be like Mike and go over and kick it. <laughs> yeah, my, my rooster kick his ass. <laughs> my rooster's me. <laughs> hey, here we go. Is that a good shot? Or you want something better? No, you can see it. Get you a little closer. I don't know if that'll help you.
Shut it down. Yep, got it turned out. I just got to decide what, what I want for a uh, design. This is where the viewer would come in. What's that? This is where the viewer would come in. Say, what do you want for a design? <laughs> There's no viewers, eh? Uh, yeah. On due time, on due time. Well, I don't know if there's any. I gotta look. Billy's in there, I think, still. He's watching anyway. Sucks, huh? I just got to decide what do I want to make, what do I want to do on the Is this going to be an ashtray? I don't know. <laughs> just, just winging it at the moment. Eh? Just winging it, yep. <laughs> It seems to be the uh, the theme lately. <laughs> Tray of some sort. No, no. Let me just see. see what happens here. See what the wood tells me. <laughs> Speak words.
try making a yo yo. Uh huh? <laughs> so you should try making a yo yo. Yo yo, there you go. Yo yo's mm -hmm. rock, man. Justin just, clicked, Justin just clicked in and I think he lost service too. I wonder if it's something that's up on my, like if it's my feet or not. I might have to go get the Cat 5 and run that out the window and come out, bring it out to the shop. I got a 175 foot Cat 5 I might have to run out. I see you just fine, man. Everything's working crystal clear. Hmm. I just hope it's not like, that's, I hope it, that's not the reason or whatever, you know what I mean? Probably like a block way down the country. <laughs> you know, you're East Coast, I'm Central. Everything past me probably ain't getting it. <laughs> That's what I'm. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I'm curious about that. But uh, I like the yo-yo idea. I'm gonna have to. Um, once I'm done with this, this won't take long because I what I got in my head is just gonna be another cup-like looking thing, just like a. Uh, Kind of like right. a rose cup. Right. For the most part, um, most wooden yo-yos I've seen, usually it's spun out with a dowel pin in the middle. But I have seen guys turn them where they actually tried to turn the pin in the center of it. Yeah. It's, it's just real cautious. <laughs> right, yeah, it's, it's definitely tough. But I, I'm, I'm willing to go, you know, to challenge. I like that. It's a good challenge. Yeah, I'm a yo-yo junkie, you know. Billy likes to juggle, I like to throw yo-yos. <laughs> oh, yeah. Some of them older wood, wood turtles are probably shaking their head at me right now because I'm using the... I was wondering if you were using a regular chisel or not. Yeah. They're probably like, what the hell is this boy doing? <laughs> but hey, man, I'm using what I got. That's all I can say. Right. For, for just using a straight chisel, I think they come up pretty damn good. <laughs> yeah. Might not be as fast, you know, because they could really... Remove a lot of wood with a with a good gouge and the right tools. Right. But uh, let's do what I got. Do what I can. With what I got. Never works.
I mean, it's all the sanding that gets cut out, you know, edited out of my other videos. Hey, Joe, just so you know, I'm still here, but somebody stopped by, so I'm hanging outside real quick. No problem, buddy. This is the boring part that I edit out on my videos anyway. What's going on, guys? What's up, buddy? Well, nothing much. Much. Just fucking got done working. Nice, nice. And just playing in the shop. What you got going on there? Another one of those trays, or what? That's similar, yeah. It's like a cup, like, I'm going to dish it out and make a, uh, I don't know, you put, like, your, you know, rings or whatever you want, or, you know, whatever uh, floats your boat kind of thing, <laughs> little blood bowl, whatever, you know. Nice. Uh, here, here goes the, it's like, the big shop, give me a little more shot here. Get down to good stuff here.
red. So it really looks like. Scar right there. Some on the end grain stuff to uh, get that through the skin. But no finish, just raw. With a little bit of a rag burnish. Some sanding. That looks good, man. What kind of wood is that? Some cherry or what? Black walnut. Black walnut? Nice. Yeah, I got a little bit of black, or I got a bunch of black walnut, all different types of stock. It's, I got to kind of pick and choose what I'm going to use <clears throat> depending on the project, you know? Yeah, I like the grain in that. That looks good. But, uh,. That's that's one pile. Oh yeah, you got a bunch there, huh? <laughs> all different, you know. It's uh, oak, cherry, black walnut, and then another pile up here. Oak, cherry, black walnut, and then another pile up there. Oak, cherry, black walnut. <laughs> nice. And then another pile back there behind the tools there. <laughs> Oak, cherry, black walnut, a little bit of duck fir, some maple, oh. and, then, and then down underneath the saw, stacked up. There's so much of it, I don't know. I, I you know, just trying to <laughs> get a bunch of projects so I could, you know. Yeah, yeah, for sure. But uh, such up here, I guess. I'm gonna take a quick break. <clears throat> Hang out for a second here. Oh shit. Cool. But yeah, I mean that don't go too bad. Pretty quick. I'm sure if I had the gouges and the right tools it'd go a lot faster. But uh, yeah, I bet some of those tools are pretty pricey, huh? Once you, I mean, for oh yeah, they they can be. If I, if I, if your feedback, let me know. I'll turn it down. Is it echoing? Uh, well? I can hear myself feedback just a little bit, but it's not too bad. All right. Yeah, it makes a mess, though. <laughs> Hell yeah. What do you do with your uh, shavings? I put them in the garden, throw them out to, for the chickens. Cool. All kinds I was going to say, shit, you better be using those for mulch or bedding or something. <laughs> yep. Yeah, they got, and that I use it for a fire starter, too. Yep. All yep. kinds of, you know, they got endless uses of dust if you know how to use it. <laughs> Oh yeah. Just get a little uh, candle wax. My my nephew, he makes them. He takes uh, old candles at like yard sales and people that big, they're ch you know chucking them out or whatever, and he'll melt them down and put the sawdust in there with it, and make little fire stars. Speaking of melted candles, I got something to show you, man. It's been so damn hot here. Look at this. Uh oh. <laughs> I see it's it's it. 
<laughs> this candle was sitting in the fucking candle holder. Came home the other day. Funny. And it's just all fucking melted over, two of them. <laughs> that would been a good Instagram right there. <laughs> Send it on Instagram. Look at him. So damn high here in Arizona. Look at the fucking candles are melting over. Hell yeah, man. Like, it, it's, it happened all over the place. I mean, shit, my wife has candles all over. And just good thing none of them actually melted. Because last <laughs> summer, we were gone for like a, a whole weekend. And, uh,. Fucking came home and one of the candles had melted off the deal, and there was wax dripping all the way down onto the floor and shit. <laughs> That's crazy. I think I'm gonna leave this broadcast, and I'm just gonna run in the house for a minute. She wants me to cut up the steak for dinner, and then I'll be right back out. Ah, right, cool man, I'll be here. I won't do anything bad while you're gone. <laughs> <laughs> I hear that. <laughs> no, I'm just going to turn my uh, video feed off. I'll see you in a bit. <laughs> hey, as long as I'm not doing it, it's cool because, you know, you're in the legal yeah, state. Yeah, you can, yeah. you can do it legally, so that's your own progress. Heard it. Well, you know, I'll just do it on my channel because I don't want to piss anyone off on yours. So. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing I'm worried about. <laughs>
why you love playing around computers, I know. It's always something that happens around here. There's always something. This is Enrica jumping up on the bench, bugging me. It's these guys in here. What do you think, guys? Yeah. You scary cat? You scary chick? Yeah. These are our new babies from this year, this spring. See. Anybody else pop in the comments?
You back, Justin?
So is there anybody still there or no? Hello? Hello? Justin? Anyone? Anyone? Chickens in the shop. Hi, Dad. Hi, baby. I want tea. I'll 
Okay. Are you getting hungry? No. No. I'm back. Can you make some dinner? No. No, you don't want no dinner? I just tried to play a team like you tried. Yeah. Hey, Joe, you there? I'm back, buddy. <laughs> I didn't know where you went. I came back in like shit, everybody's gone. <laughs> yeah, I just had to run. She, she wanted me to uh, cut up steak for her for dinner. And a bunch of people sh stopped by all of a sudden. Yeah, that too. Farmer, Farmer Bob, guy that owns the property, he uh, stopped up for a minute to talk. <laughs> that guy used to work for me about a year, year and a half ago when I closed the shop. He just strolled on in on his bicycle. I was like, no shit, I ain't seen you in a while. Huh. Yeah, he stayed with the shop when I sold it. He stayed there. He's still there. That's cool. Yeah. Yeah, shit, he'd been there all his damn life, so it was probably hard for him to want to leave. <coughs> I think he worked for me for almost 20 years. But he only lives up the road. About a half mile. I just don't ever see him. <laughs> Roasted asparagus. Sweet. Where'd you find him at? Garden or did you go picking? No, nah, she she bought a home. Uh, yeah, my old lady said something the other day. She's like, "Yeah, go find me some asparagus." I'm like, "All right." I forgot about it. I come home that night. There's a pile of it sitting on the counter. I'm like, "Where'd you find it?" She goes to the grocery store. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, she lays it out on a cookie sheet, and then uh, puts olive oil, uh, salt, pepper, onions, or no. Uh, Garlic powder, and then um, uh, sticks a little bit of Parmesan cheese and sprinkles over it, and then bakes it. Huh. Sounds good. Sounds it's good. Really good. About it too. Yeah, I was just thinking about some dinner, and then dude showed up, and then another buddy. My, it was funny. They both showed up on bicycles. <laughs> huh. Other buddy shows up. Hey, what's up? Seen you out here. Thought I'd stop by. I'm like, huh? Cool. We sat around and had a quick powwow, quick, and then they both took off. That was nice of them. Yeah. I'm going to go around to see that finish. No, I didn't. Oh, cool. Just a little like cup looking thing. How Nothing deep? Crazy. I can't really tell. It's about, about an inch. About an inch. Yeah, looking look at, looking at the camera, it hardly looks like a barrel, like a dish. You know, like there's hardly an eighth inch. That's just a shadow. Yeah. <laughs> cool. But now uh, you got me thinking about that goyo. So I'm going to try that next. That'd be cool. Uh, yeah. yeah, I seen Justin was just on here a minute ago, too, but he wasn't answering me, and all of a sudden he disappeared. Yeah, that was my bad, too. I kind of just bounced out for a minute. Uh, yeah, I see he just made a comment on my video. He, he's like, isn't that the same track Billy used? <laughs> I was like, yeah. Yes, that's the uh, intro to mine, too. Yeah, I noticed that, too, after I went and watched it. I was like, ah, fuck. <laughs> well, it's tough, you know, 
I searched. Only limited to a certain amount of. Yeah, I know. I searched audio. high and low for it too. I mean, I even thought about I. I could have done it as just go to our server and we have a paid site. We have a certain amount of credits we're allowed to use every month, and I could have just bought one. But yeah, that's true. But then, if I would have done that, then the boss or Teresa's partner or whatever would have been, oh, what are you doing? We need them for business, you know? So that's kind of why I didn't want to go through the hassle over a YouTube video. <laughs> yeah. Because those are a little nicer when you got a paid site, you know? Then you get a little more of a choice, a little more freedom. <clears throat> A lot better music. <laughs> yeah, the uh, that's something with the front uh, soundj.com. Yeah, and it's like you can get a bunch of free music and sound and stuff from copyright free, uh, royalty free, whatever you want to call it. And then it. Uh, they only give me a few demos. Yeah, you know, you get you get quite a few of different different stuff, but you only get a few demos of music. Uh, but there's all kinds of different sounds and stuff that they put on. Yeah, I want to say because uh, we're like a business. I want to say it's like 150 dollars a year, but then they keep us up to date too. I mean, there's probably 60 new tracks every year easily, plus what they already got on there. Yeah, this one advertised like 750 tracks of different stuff. Yeah, we got, I guarantee more than that. I mean, it, this is a paid site, though. I mean, there's a ton of them, but I'm just saying they add, like, 60 to 70 new ones a year on an average. They keep it up to date, keep it fresh, but, you know, if you're paying for it, they better be. Yeah, right. And then because we, like, hire other people to do video work and whatnot, if we hire them, then this is where the credit system comes in. They give a, like, as an employer, they give us so many credits to work with in a video. So if I got to build a video and I need an extra song or I need something written out, they give me, they allow me uh, an allowance of so many credits to build either pictures, videos, or music. Huh. That's pretty cool. <laughs> Yeah, it is, because, like, you know, like, for example, the account's in the name of their business, but as long as I got the credits available to me, I can access that account with their credits. Yep. It goes all yep. toward their work anyways. It's not like I get to keep it. They see everything I do. They got, we got, like, a screen share. It pops up every 15 minutes. If I'm logged into Odesk or something... It automatically just any employer or whoever wants to watch me on that end of it can just pop up and watch it and see what I'm doing. It even pops up on my screen every 15 minutes just to show you what they're seeing. <laughs> kind of like keep an eye on everybody, on each other. Yeah. I mean, I got nothing to worry about. Who's going to yell at me? My old lady? I don't give a fuck. You know, but the reason behind, you know, hiring other people, you know, if you're hiring from somebody from the Philippines, which we do a lot, we can keep track of what the hell they're doing. You know, if they're clocked in for four hours and I don't see any movement for four hours, well, it's obviously they were fucking around. Yeah. You know, it's it's been known to happen on accident. Somebody doesn't clock out or something, but they're usually legit and say something the next day, you know, because they know we've seen it anyways. <laughs> But just because I'm tied to the same programs, I got to do the same shit. Even, like I said, even though it don't fucking matter, what's she going to do, yell at me? Fire me, though. I didn't want to do it in the first place. <laughs> yeah. Leave by example, though, right? <laughs> right. <laughs> <clears throat> oh, Mike can go around and do all whatever he wants on there. Why can't we? <laughs> <laughs> one of the owners, that should make a difference. <laughs> Alright. <clears throat> Done stuff in my face. 
Would y'all have steak and what else? Asparagus? Yeah, steak, asparagus, and uh, uh, roasted potatoes. Sweet. It's just me and Bella tonight. I haven't had a, even thought about it. I thought about eating, but I haven't a fucking clue what to make. I thought about making a homemade pizza. There you go. The only problem is I make them and then I got this big old pizza and I never eat it. You know, I eat like half of it and there it sits. Yeah. It's, hor it's horrible when I'm by myself all the time because I waste so much shit. I'm so used to cooking for everybody, but my other two girls are only here every other week. And the one girl, she's old enough now where she's hardly ever here, period. <laughs> So it's like I'm so used to cooking big meals, I'll make myself something. There's enough to feed four people, but there's nobody here. <laughs> Back when I had all the businesses, man, it was nice. I'd have all this leftover food. I used to bring it to work with me, man. Them boys would eat that shit. Right? They always thought that was tight, man, when I'd come in with fucking big pot of something. I used to make big pots of chili and big pots of soup and shit during the winter, man. When I knew them guys were out busting their ass out in the cold, man, I'd bring in some fresh chicken noodle soup and shit made the night before. Oh, yeah, we used to bring a crack pot to work. Started, you know, get it all, put all the shit in it, started in the morning, and by the lunchtime time, it was ready to eat. Yeah. yeah. I used to do shit for them all the time, and I like at the tattoo shop. We had an Italian restaurant next door, and I had an account with them. So, like, you know, if the guys were doing a good job or really busy or something, uh, yeah, I'd just call the pizza joint and say, put it on my tab, send them boys over pizza or something. I was never there during the day. I was only there in the evening. <clears throat> I was always at the garage during the day, work the fab shop. The garage and the fab shop aren't far from each other, but the, the tattoo shops were out of my town. There were third, two shops. One was 30 miles one way, the other one was 30 miles the other way. I'm hearing you, buddy. I hear you. Ah, my old lady just sent me a message. So I went over and answered her. <laughs> Sorry, that was my bad. That's <clears throat> all right. As, soon as, as I was talking, she blinks. So I just went over there to see what the fuck she wanted. Still building shit, or you done for the night, or what you gonna do yet? Yeah, I'm gonna do another one here quick. Wish it was, uh, wish it was thicker than that. Thicker? Yeah, I wish it was. Find where this was. There it is. All right, go back to what's going on here. I go check on my kid quick. He'll be back.
How's it going? A little big for a yo-yo, huh? Uh, no. You can have yo-yos any size you want. You like the traditional shape or the uh, the V shape? What's up? Do you like the rounded look, the ones, or the, the ones that got the V in them? Uh, either or. I don't know, whatever you want to make, man. I'm just curious. What's that? I'm just curious. Yeah, I mean, rounded, I mean, I don't know. I just fuck start grinding and see what it looks like when it's done. <laughs> Turn and see what happens, right? Man, yeah. Charles moving. Huh? Yeah. I thought I seen something moving, but I'm hallucinating. Oh, it could have been a mouse running around. <laughs> <laughs> I decided to go with the pizza. Just got done making the dough here. Preheating the oven now.
That looks like the start of a yo yo. You just kind of got to taper them from the inside out just so that the string follows them. I'll go with the V, is it you're saying? Yeah, I would start with, you know, working your center out, but then V it out just to shade, you know, from the center out. This way the string will travel and it'll rewind better. I'm going to have to uh, set up a little different here. Hold on. The wave might be a little louder, but now I can hear you. What's up? Hopefully this What's will be that? a little better. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. I just was staying in another room. Oh, okay. The lathe, the lathe noise might be a little louder now, but we'll see how this goes. I got the uh, mic up here next to me now. I'm making pizza. You already had soup. No, it hurt. Fingers still attached? Yep. <laughs> My rest was too far away, so I got jammed in there.
There's one for the books. It looks good so far. Yeah, I just got the chisel slammed in there. <laughs> I must have, you know, assembling my pizza. What else to do? Oh, it's a chimney pool. I'm getting hot. Shit, man. What, how hot is it out there today? Here, it's only, uh, it was it only got like 74 here today. Nice. But the chisel itself is getting hot. Oh, all right. I thought you said you were getting hot. Looks like a big ass yo yo right now. <laughs> That's what I'm aiming for. Are you? <laughs> nice. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck yeah. <laughs> Those look like a big ass yo yo on screen. Holy shit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly what it looks like. Supposed to be doing something, right? <laughs> yeah, Mike, Mike was like, oh, what's a big yo yo? <laughs> and I was like, oh, man, I'm going to try that. <laughs> Usually it's two pieces and there's dowel in the middle. Yeah. I figured I'd try and do a one piece. That's cool. It's dangerous though, because this chisel is supposed to get caught up in there. Yeah, yeah, it's way down in that groove, I bet. Well, when he first started, the first thing I thought of was a yo yo. I was like, hey, you should make a yo yo. <laughs> oh, yeah.
Here, here we go. Here comes the dangerous part. Maybe if I lower my... Let's see if that'll make it a little better. I feel a little better. Sorry if I'm boring you guys. Yeah, that's cool. <laughs> it's probably only boring the people that do it every day. Oh boy. How small should that thing be in the middle? Does it matter? What was that? So how small should that thing be in the middle? Does it matter? No, it don't really matter. I mean, closer to the center, the better. But you can... Uh, how far do you think you got in there? You had about an inch? Uh, yeah, a little over an inch left yet. Yeah, I mean, if you can get more out of it, better, but... Yep. Then you just have to go over to that family dollar and get yourself some uh, yo-yo string. Yeah. Because they sell it. You usually get, like, an assorted pack for a buck. Yeah, it just keeps wanting to pull. Nice and easy. Watch my light here. Oh. You a digger. What happened? It was digging. One it took off one to grab my chisel on me. Ah. Uh. I gotta clean up whatever I just, whatever mess I just made with it. How far apart are your screws space before you hit the baskets? Uh, are they only they're not deep only, enough. They're only about a quarter inch. Yeah, they're only they're only in about that far, roughly about that far. All right. 
I was just thinking about that. I'm like, fuck, that sucked. If you hit a screw. <laughs> yeah, it's happened. It's happened before on the bowls, on the trays and stuff. Now, yeah. got to sharpen the chisel again. <laughs> About an inch, a little less than an inch now. I mean, I would say the average uh, bearing and uh, spindle rod is usually about a quarter inch. But, I mean, you don't have to go that deep. I would say, at least say. Yeah. Let's see, the bigger the, the center, the faster it'll go, right? Uh, that makes sense? Yeah. Yeah, it'll fucking go down and come up pretty damn quick if it's yeah. if you have a big spindle. Yeah. Now it's it is pretty big though. It's just as big as my hand. Well, that makes it. Yeah. It's pretty freaking big. Hell yeah! So is that going to be a uh, purpose for the original purpose of a yo-yo? I mean, weren't yo-yos originally weapons? They are. They were. You're right. Yeah. I believe they were. Yeah. That, that'd that make a good one, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that would freaking knock somebody else out the head. That's for sure. Hell yeah. Something. Something. I shouldn't say somebody. Something. <laughs> yeah. Shit. Fucking a rabbit or some shit. <laughs> yeah. It's a good idea. Let's see. I'm just going to try and shape this outside a little bit more. Hell of shit, that's a uh, concealed weapon you can't carry in New York, probably. <laughs> right? The spacing's a little bit off, but not bad. So I'm just going to shave this side down just a touch. Still here, it's not completely true yet. Starting to smell like pizza in here. Oh boy. <laughs> I'm gonna mute my mic just for a second because I gotta hit the sand hit my chisel with the sander. Quick sharpening. <laughs> Yep. Gotta get you a little stand up belt sander, a little one by thirty or something. Yeah. That's the one I uh one of my tools to for the upgrade eventually, you know? Yeah. 
thing went, well, I got a big one over at my shop, but I don't like powering up my shop in order to just make a simple knife. So I went and bought a couple little ones from Harbor Freight, and they work pretty good. Yeah, that's all I'm looking for is one of them little hobby ones for now. Because for I mean, the it's projects nothing, that I'm doing. It's nothing like my monster, but it sure does the trick around here. And like I said, I'm already home. I ain't got to fire up the shop. Yeah. You know how to use a yo-yo? Yep. Sweet. Just I just got to get some friends for string. Like I said, dollar store is where I usually buy it at. Comes yeah, like, I want to play with it now. <laughs> comes like 10 for a buck. <clears throat> got to use some pretty thin shit, though. I don't know what else you can substitute. Kite string's pretty close. You got kite string. Yep. Yeah, I do have some of that somewhere I could find. It might work. Now, are both sides pretty close to the same? Yep. Yeah, I've got a... Uh, Get this gauge here that I use. Oh, you got caliber cool. Yeah, I just think if one side was a little bit bigger than the other, you might have a habit of it going one side or another. Yeah. I'm uh. That's why I'm being easy on this outside here. I don't want to. I don't want to mess anything up. But uh, this side's a little bit heavier than the other side. So I just got to take a little bit off. Pizza's dead. <laughs> I told you he fucking ripped his See, headphones look. off and went running. <laughs> <What's that? laughs> I, I was telling Joe pizza was done, and you didn't say nothing. I figured you ripped your headphones off and went running. <laughs> yeah, I made a homemade one. Hell yeah, those are always best. Yeah, I just ever since I started making them myself, I just can't really eat a frozen pizza anymore. Yeah, yeah I just I used to do them, but I would get the like store bought crust. But now I got I just picked up a bread machine a few months back, so I'm making a shitload of homemade pizza since I can just make that dough in the machine. Yeah, I just make oh, yeah. a little bit of flour, egg. Oh, Whip out a, uh, you know, basically just a single crust really quick. In the sauce, I, unfortunately, I ran out of my own, so I had to buy this one. But. I see a bad part of the wood right there. It keeps chipping out. I can hear it.
so can I convert my bench grinder into a lathe like that? In a way, uh, I mean, so, to, for something like this, you can for a uh, one-sided mount. But if you wanted to do like with a yeah. with a uh, headstock and a tailstock, that's going to be a little more difficult. Yeah, yeah. But shit, I mean. Basically, uh, I could probably just get that mount that you have or whatever and figure out how to mount it yep. up to my grinder, huh? That'd be cool. Yeah. Just having... I, uh, I hadn't thought about that till just now, so... <laughs> Sorry, I was getting distracted. Cell phone. Um, what the hell was I going to say? Oh yeah, this is just a pulley. Yes. It's just a pulley that mounts to my Yeah, yeah, I see. I mean this <clears throat> if you have this part, then you're doing good, you know. And the rest of it you can just because this gives you your variable speed. You know, um, where are we here? You know, it's funny, that center hub unit, I found one of them laying around, just that piece of it. And I used it for a, a, an ear reduction system on a windmill. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's good smooth, yeah, that makes sense, because yeah. it's nice and smooth. Yeah, it had, a, it had the perfect bearings on both sides, and it had like, I can't remember, it was like a one-inch shaft going through the center of it, so I just put some fucking spindles on it and used it for a gear reducer. Nice. Hell yeah. Alright. Turn this another. So I used the 80, 80 or 60 here. 80. And then I'm going to go with the one, 220. Go right from 80 to 220. No messing around. I should send you out some sandpaper. <laughs> I get that shit in bulk, man. Oh, I'll take it. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I, I see you're using like the orbital sander sheets. Man, I got yeah, they cost money of, too. Yeah, I got stacks and stacks of sheets. Everything from I don't know, I think I got sixty grit all the way up to fifteen hundred. These are nice because it gives me a little bit of grip, and I have them laying around the shop here. I always got a shit ton of belts laying around for my belt sander. Yeah, those. Yeah, I got those too. I mean, a belt that I'll burn up on steel. That fucker will still work great on wood for a while. So I throw them around, and then I eventually use them for a wood project or something. Yeah, actually, I picked up the uh, the belt saver. It's that big rubber. Yeah. Whatever the hell it is, I just say it now. It's side. basically a wax. You're supposed to wax your belt before you even start. Keeps your ship from tangling in the sand, in the sand, and ripping the sand off. Yeah. Yeah. No. Yeah. It's just it's a big hunk of rubber, really. You know, big. It's nope. just a big eraser. No. Nope. I actually, last time I bought some of them, I bought like a case of them fuckers. A lot of that shit I buy in big bulk just because I like having it around. Yep, yep. Definitely. It sucks having to run to the hardware store for, for something stupid like that, you know? Right. Yeah. Well, like even and, my you know, I've, I've been in there so many times where I'm in the middle of a project and i got to stop what I'm doing because I can't finish it because I don't have the bolt or whatever. Yeah, I actually keep an inventory count now, you know, just so that when I do start running low, I can pre-order right away. Oh, yeah. Oh, where'd my sand paper go? I'm going to drop it down another... 80 was a little too aggressive. 
Look for the marks in it. It puts me in a trance. I could just be here all day sometimes. Not say a word. Yeah, I bet, man. Here comes the shine. Sweet. Now you have to get in the custom yo-yo business. Yeah, I gotta figure out how to. Uh, <laughs> Big uh, Joe yo-yos. <laughs> have to get a sticker for the others for the side that mounts to the lathe, or figure out how to finish that other side up while it's spinning. I gotta set it between two centers and get it that way, I guess. Uh, do you have the other end of that? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but it's on. The, it's down. I got it up out of my way right now. Oh, retract that close. Yep. Uh. Oh. Uh. Hmm. It should. Yeah, I didn't know if it would or not. Good question. I also have some bigger machines. They don't always go in that far. Yeah, you could uh, just print yourself up a sticker, Big Joe's Custom Yo-Yo. Call it that. Right. <laughs> Put it on the side and be called it, call it good, right? Oh yeah. That's you know you got that part you gotta I gotta deal with. Let's see, here. Let's see what it looks like. So you didn't like my dumb stuff, you just Justin. Oh, uh, no, I like that shit. I thought it was funny, man. <laughs> it was awesome. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to fill those holes. I won't be too bad. A little wood filler. Bust off something in there, a pin or something. Yep, yeah, yep. <clears throat> yeah, I mean, couldn't you cut a uh, really small dowel with the grain going the same way? That's what I was thinking. Get a dowel pen and snap it off in there. Yeah, or I could I could even not make it not like have a, a different color. It doesn't have to be like a black. You know, it could just. Oh be yeah, yeah, that's true. Just two little accent dots. Somebody that knows wood lathing, you know, knows wood would know exactly what it was. But other any other piece, anybody else would really know or care. Come out pretty neat. Good to me. You could uh, drill a few more holes in there and make it look so, like some kind of inlay. See, right. now, now we're thinking. Now you're thinking. Or just put See, a See, this is this, what this, 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 this is all about, this hangout right here. Because I'd be like, ah, chuck it. Be up in a, you know, in a <laughs> box somewhere with the rest of my shit. <laughs> yeah. And, I mean, if you wanted to do the other side to match, too, I'm sure it wouldn't be too hard. Yeah. yeah, totally. The weight might be might throw it off doing that, but who knows? Now I gotta find a piece of string. I'm I'm willing to I want to play with it now. <laughs> Wearing boots. 
<laughs> oh, I got. Hold on. I got a pair of. Uh, here, let's see. I got a, I got an Adirondack tongs and Adirondack flyswatter. swatter. These I made these when I was up in the Adirondacks bear camping. There's a fly swatter. Nice. Blair Witch fly swatter. <laughs> nice. And then here's a pair of tongs. Sweet. <laughs> it's got 550 cord wrapped all around it, so that <laughs> might, be able to, might be able to find a piece here that I can use. It's almost perfect for the yo-yo string. Kind of don't want to take this apart, so I'm not going to use a certain amount of string here. Pretty crazy. Yeah. I was going to say, Justin, I already had that video like half built when I found out Billy already made his the <laughs> same song. Yeah, I figured those came out too close together for uh, you to have seen his video first. Right, and then it sucked because then I, after I noticed it, I was like, I, I PM'd him right away. I'm like, uh, do you care if I use it? <laughs> yeah, I was like, sure, I don't know what to do. I, I started looking around for other music, but, man, there isn't much to choose from. No, that's what I said last night after we got off. I was looking around and it was just endless. I don't have yeah, because Billy was only using that one, like fifteen second or twenty second part of the song anyway. He didn't use the whole thing. Either. Right. Yeah, I figured I used it in a different context, and I used the whole song. And I made the video interactive with the beat of the song and shit, so. Yeah, yeah, the timing was good. Yeah, it? I, I just didn't see anybody else point that out, so I figured I would. <laughs> no, I didn't I get knew, a chance. I knew you had seen Billy's you. video, so. <laughs> yeah, I thought I'd give you a little shit. <laughs> <laughs> well, the first comment I got on the video is that uh, people that, uh, what the hell was it again? People that uh, have like seen, epilepsy or some shit yeah, that never sees you. Yeah, I seen that. And, you know, yeah, yeah. I was done by the first minute, and thirty-six seconds. So I was like, sorry. But to be honest with you, as I built it, I had a feeling a lot of people would be like, "What the fuck?" So I figured I'd build another one, anyways. Right, yeah, you know what's off. crazy is, oh, go ahead, Joe. Oh, go ahead. I was just gonna play with the yo-yo. Keep talking. You're uh, good. Um, shit. My my wife works for a radio station, right? And they had a concert a while back, and they wouldn't allow any cameras in. And uh, if anyone caught was caught with like a cell phone that had a flash on it, they'd get kicked out. But I guess it was one of the dudes in the band had seizures. He had epilepsy or some shit and he would get a seizure or whatever from the flashes in the crowd. But the whole time he had those stage lights flashing on him and shit. So yeah. I thought that was kind of bullshit. Yeah, you think he'd be flopping around on the stage. Yeah, yeah. I was expecting him to have like way like a set stage lighting. But he had the whole fucking show just like every other band. So I'm like, damn, that's kind of messed up. They didn't let no one bring in cameras. Right. And they fucking have strobe lights and everything else on stage. So. <laughs> they give a decent string, and it seems to be needs to be a little bit lighter. Would you get it? It is a little heavy. Oh, I wasn't looking here. I need to click on your sheet. What kind of string did you get? Oh, I. It looks like it's just you. Just some jute. It's nothing special. It's not even a 550 piece of the 550 cord. It's uh, something else that I found laying around here. But I got it to go up and down once or twice here, but that was it. Let's see what I can. Oh, it's just stalls. Is the string sliding on the spindle or what? Yep. I just got to uh, tighten that maybe. Yeah, 
Yeah. I had yeah, a working well, in that once you have that string tight, it'll, uh, was it like the first time you tried it, it worked? Yeah, a couple of times it went up and down, it was working, and then now. Uh, yeah, yeah, you, know, you guys are watching that knot. Not... It's a slip knot, but it's too slippy, I think. <laughs> There it is. <laughs> nice. Sweet. So that shit slapping that, your hand pretty hard when it's coming back up or what? Not bad. It's it's pulling my finger down pretty good though. Oh, all right. Yeah, you know, it's got a little bit sure of weight to it. Big hunk of wood was fucking slapping your hand hard when it came back or not. Not too bad. Not too bad. Oh, now you're going to stall. Yep. Like I said, get some string. But I think I'd be interested in playing with making a couple of these. Oh. Yeah, just keep toying around with it till you get them perfect. <clears throat> You can even, you know, instead of going down that far, you, you know, you can even check and see what a fucking spindle and bearing costs or something for them, too, and just make the woodwork of it. Yep. Oh. But I think somebody that's, uh, somebody with good string and, the, you know, that really knows how to run a yo yo could probably get it working pretty good. Yeah, I wish I could get a crack at it right now. I'd love to spin that fucker. Right? <laughs> yeah, me too, man. I don't know about you guys, but I used to yo-yo a shit time when I was a kid. Well, I was yeah, I was always uh, I was always into it. So when so when Mike said it, I was like, ah, oh, perfect. You know, I'm up for that. I'm always looking for a little something like that, little project to play with. I'll admit it. I still collect yo-yos. Hell yeah. I mean, this one ain't nothing special. This is my first attempt, so. You know, when you were yeah. making the bowl earlier, that was what popped my head as a yo-yo I was just fucking around with earlier. You know, I was yesterday, I was fucking around with it. It just bounced in my head. I was like, fuck, make a yo-yo. <laughs> yeah. That looks good. I'm pretty happy with it. I had a couple of holes, but nothing... Right. That fucker looks great, man. I kind of left the tooling in there to give it, a, you know, just a little something, another design on it, I guess. I don't know. All right, what's next? <laughs> Fucking okay, make me a duck call. <laughs> E <coughs> there you go. <laughs> Man, that was <laughs> <laughs> that was fucking quick. Oh, <laughs> uh, that that's actually a grunt call, but that's close enough. <laughs> <laughs> Bang! There you go. <laughs> Plastic and all. <laughs> Yeah, I had a neighbor who was always making duck calls on his legs. He didn't fucking sell them or nothing either. <laughs> he just wanted to get away from his damn wife. He's out in the shed all the time making legs or making duck calls. Yeah, that's. I I uh I was looking at this one, thinking about making one, but um, I got, like I said, I really got to get the tools. Once I get the tools, I can play around a little bit more. With that real deep shallow, you know, that's real deep shallow hole. That's that's tough. Yeah, I, I mean, yeah, you could drill it out, I guess. Yeah, I guess yeah, I'd probably just drill it out, wouldn't I? Yeah, you probably, can. probably be a way. Yeah, yeah, that's probably what I would do, huh? Dur. <laughs> hmm. 
with some I was messing around with a chunk of oak. What a bitch to cut that, man. It's just it almost reminds me of a top or a plum bottle. Yeah, yeah, I don't know what I was going with. I was I think I was trying to make a sphere or something with it. No, angle, it did something on the other end, that's what it was. That angle it's a big old titty. Yeah. <laughs> Squeeze it again. Get me excited. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Yeah. Well, that was two black walnut little projects on the bench. Um, I don't know. I can't think of nothing else. Maybe a piece pipe. Do it in two pieces. Spin the whole lawn piece out. Drill it, and then make a head for it. Hmm. Every, time I've made, every time I've made them, I just made them in one piece, but I didn't spin nothing. I just took a saw and some sandpaper. I have a blank that I was thinking about messing with. It's a two-piece. Cherry and black walnut. There we go. All right, now, you can, now you can get an angle of it. Yeah, I don't got a hole drilled down it already, bitch. No. And then this is just black walnut, another blank. It's pretty long. I don't know, like a foot and a half, probably. So those are two options or something. That's the thing. Is, no, you don't have the big chunks. Sorry. I was just going to say I wanted to sit down and make some big old piece pipes again. The only thing I don't really have is that long drill bit. I think I broke it off in one. Yeah, I do have a long drill bit, but it's not very, not very well, big. The very first time I ever built one, I actually used the hot poker rod. That's how I made the first one. Three eighths. It's very time consuming. And the the tip on it's not that great. But it's like uh, okay, sixteen inches. Something like that. Oh, I gotta take my dog out quick. Sixteen inches. Sixteen. Well, just don't make it any longer than that. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, right. <laughs> Yes, thinking about making these, uh, using these for lathe handles for my gouges and homemade tooling. Oh, uh, yeah. Well, this the one anyway. This one is going to be something. I don't know yet what it's going to be. So you guys are for, that's, that's what the, the viewer interaction is all about. Like, you get, they get that, like, writer's block, carpenter's block in here sometimes. Yeah, for sure. Is anyone watching on YouTube or what? Oh, I don't know. I haven't checked it in a while. Um, I checked it a while back, and it looks like Billy was the last one in there. I'll say. Yep, that's it. Yeah. Wow. I didn't know my... Uh, Guess my volume is too loud. Just let me know. I just was on the YouTube channel and it was like real loud. <laughs> Actually, I'm gonna. Yeah, shit. I don't know. I just I have my speakers turned way down. So it was real loud when I first got on. Man, that's for sure. I had my headphones on. It like about blew my eardrum out. But that's only because my. Oh, what's that right there? That's for uh, holding um. Glass bowls. Nice. 18 and 14. Nice. Actually, no, the, no I'm, I'm wrong. The old style and then 14. I don't have the, oh, the 18s here, but I don't know where that block is.
And then I, made I can't, I can't ever uh, keep Dash around long enough to have a collection. <laughs> I'll fucking break that shit constantly. This is my uh, attempt at a doll's mirror, doll house mirror. Oh, that's cool. I made I made a little jewelry box for my nie niece. Sweet. And uh, I didn't like the way this one came out, so she didn't get this one. <laughs> That'd be good in like a backpack, little signal mirror, something like that. There you go. Yeah, yeah. I, I picked the, those little these little round uh, mirrors. I picked them up at uh, the dollar store in the craft section of the dollar store. Things you find in the dollar store, man. Put one of them in my ortho survival kit. Yeah. <laughs> little buttons I made. Just for like a like a little butt, like a uh, button handle kind of. It's like a drawer pull. Let's see. Trying to think. I'm gonna do one more. Let's do whatever time I got left. Uh, I got another 40 minutes left if I want to do something else here. I can't think of nothing. Yeah, do some box. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna get this laid off to the bench here. The next, the next uh, hangout's gonna be. Um, a box build of some kind or something to that, you know, a bench project. Because that's what that's the only problem with this lathe is it picks it takes up my whole bench, <laughs> and then I gotta I gotta pick, lift it up off the bench because my my shop's not very big. It's only a, maybe a ten by ten area that I'm working in here. So I stand that up and put that in a corner, and then I got my my whole table bench again. I don't know if you can see it through the sawdust and all the crap, but there's that board I was talking about, that whiteboard. It's underneath right now, but that's I, I, that's what I covered my bench with. Make sure my uh, tobacco pipe wasn't in the <laughs> camera there. Tobacco products only. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, yeah, this came with the latest old drum drum sander. Ah, oh, that's cool. Sweet. Actually, that's a freaking mountain plate right there. I didn't even realize it. I'm using I'm using this, and I've got one. Isn't that funny? <laughs> there it is. Yeah. <laughs> well, now you know. Yeah. Now I know. Look, it's just a wow. It's just a chunk of wood. Well, you made it work. I mean, the one. Yeah. Yeah. Well, this is probably gonna be a lot a lot truer and more center than that. All right. Well, the holes will be exact. Everything will be exact. That's funny. <laughs> How long have you had it, though? This uh, this lathe is only that I've had it is probably six months, maybe tops. Wow, I'm happy. I can't believe I just found that. And realized that. Cause all this thing is is just a chunk of wood with sandpaper around it. You know, it's funny. Um, I was quite a while ago. I found this old abandoned sawmill, and I went scavenging through it, and I brought home a bunch of buckets. There was like files and pulleys and shit like that. But the one that you're taking off, man, I bet there's a bunch of them in there. No shit. Yeah. The bigger the bigger mountain plates, the better. I have to look through that pile again because there was a a bunch of miscellaneous like pulley 
pulleys and just weird shit that I didn't recognize, but I thought they were cool, so I took them. Heck yeah. yeah. I wish I would have I mean, stripped more out of that place. Somebody told me the whole building fell over. I could only get like a four inch, so what, eight inch round on the on my lathe? Without having to extend, you know, raise everything up. Wow. That. Just a old chunk of wood. Huh. Does it got a piece of sandpaper around it, or? Yeah. Huh. huh. Well, you know what he probably does? He probably spun that motherfucker out on the lathe really quick and then put a piece of paper on it. Yep. Call, called it a drum sander. Is that you beeping? Yeah, it was me. My old lady's still talking to me. She must not be very busy. She's been talking to me all fucking night. <laughs> <laughs> What's good about this thing is that I can uh, set up, I can do two, have two plates ready. I can do two chucks, yeah, you know, chuck mounts. <laughs> now, what is the other on the free spinning end got on it? And it's actually not, it doesn't free spin. No, because it froze up. Uh, I, I believe this might be froze up in here, yeah. But this, you know, this, this adjusts in and out. And then I can just change the head on it with, you know, with the Allen key. Is there just a point on the end of it right now? A what? Is there just a point on the end of it right now? Yeah, it's just a slight point with a, uh, like a collar or something on there. Let me get you a little closer. You can see it. Oh, all right. Kind of like one of your products. Oh yeah, almost yeah. <laughs> it's my messy shout. Uh, let's see, where was I? Yeah, I'm thinking I'm going to turn something here. I think I'm going to go back to Cherry, see what Cherry I got out here. Pull something real quick here. We only got another half hour. I'm going to make some noise real quick. Actually, I'm going to mute my mic so I don't have to hear it. Hi. She's got a big smile on her face. <laughs> I had it on mute before, and I'm trying to get something out for it. She just yelled over, hi. And I go, you want me to turn it on? <laughs> <laughs> Bouncing putty. So this shit's supposed to bounce. Wow. It bounces. It bounces. <laughs> it looked like Play-Doh, man. And I'm like, well, what are you doing with this? It's kind of like, it felt funny. I thought maybe it was drying out, and then I looked at it. It's bouncing, buddy. So I just made a ball and chucked it, and fucker bounced. It bounces. Hmm. Never heard of such shit. I have no idea where she found it. Either.
using short short screws. So this could be a little exciting here in a minute. Must be having a card draw tonight at the bar. Usually they're real busy. Fresh keeps calling or messaging me. Last time I checked, the card draw was up to like forty-five hundred bucks. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Where the hell is Billy? That's that sucker. <clears throat> Where is he? I know he can hear me. I know he's watching it on YouTube. <clears throat> All right, I'm gonna set my uh, headphones over here. Hopefully, it won't be as loud for you. too much. <laughs> what are we spinning, Joe? What's that? So what are we spinning this time? Oh, probably just an ashtray. I don't know yet. I just figured I'd fill the space here. Luke says, Look, I got blinging going on all over the place. Ah, shit. Uh-oh. How's it going, Luke? Not too much. <laughs> I was just about ready to, I was just about ready to respond back to you. Yeah, now. <laughs> <laughs> and then you, I heard you bling up. Yeah, my my thumb caught the uh, chat button. What you guys been talking about? We're watching Joe build stuff all day. 
spelled an ashtray, just got done with his yo-yo, and now he's spinning something else. Cool. The yo-yo was pretty cool. Yeah, there's the ball. There's the yo-yo. And they actually got it to work a few times. <laughs> a couple times. I have better string would be better. Yeah. Sorry, I got myself muted here because I imagine it's pretty loud. So, I guess I'm thinking it's going to be a ashtray of some kind or a tray of some kind. So, give me some ideas. Uh, change bowl, maybe? Or knick-knack bowl? Yeah, like a yeah, change change tray or bowl. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Empty your pockets out at the end of the day kind of thing. But uh we'll kind of mm -hmm. just solid on the sides. Or? Oh, it's a lot smaller than that. Oh yeah, it's pretty small. <laughs> I thought it looked a little bit bigger without your hand next to it. Yeah, um, yeah. can you do no. like like wave curls or something? Hmm. Well, what do you think about wave curls or having like an ocean curl, wave curl in it? Curling, I I don't. I don't or is it have the too setup. intricate for that small? <clears throat> but I could do like a, a ribbed or something to that effect. Um, just trying to find an example. Left all that stuff in the house. <laughs> hmm. Just trying to think. Uh, I feel like the if I was able to, I would do. I would what about those? To, um, go ahead. Like, I'm trying to think. Were those Celtic uh, symbols <laughs> that go around a ring or something like that? Or is that? That might be like, like is that like hand carved kind of thing? Kind of. 
but they have all different types of patterns. I don't know what would work best on a lathe, though. You should make a big mushroom. <laughs> I have little mushrooms, but I didn't. I don't have any. Yeah, actually, yeah. Let me, uh, That's actually a great idea. You could do right. like a mushroom, but make it a little bowl, make it two piece. Right. So when you fit it together, it looks like a uh, mushroom. Yeah, make like, like, hmm. like, like actually wow out the top of it and then make a cap that'll fit in it. Kind of like yeah. a piece that yeah. spin right there and just fit right in. Hmm, yeah. I'm liking it. I don't know if this is uh, wide enough for a mushroom top, though, is it? I don't know. I'm just saying as as an idea, you know how it's kind of yeah. kind of looks like something that would plug the hole, you know. So if you wowed out the top of the mushroom and then made that hole and just fit right in the hole. That's <coughs> where I get that. that Block. I don't know what to do. Yeah, I don't know what to tell you either. As far as spinning stuff, I've only got like so much on my brain. Box making. Yeah, it's tough. Box making. On the other hand, I probably sit here all day and come up with something. <laughs> right. Yeah, the boxes. I'm gonna. I'll have to plan that out a little bit. Yeah. Because there's uh. There's the glue up and and you know wait time on the setup for the glue. Yeah, I can. I can do. I'm gonna have to do one one ahead of time, almost like a fucking cooking show kind of thing, you know. Do one ahead of time, so it's uh. I, right. I glue we glue up the one part, and then I can move right. on and glue it up. Right, otherwise mm -hmm. you're gonna have to sit there waiting for glue ups to dry. That takes fucking forever. Mm-hmm. But I do want to do a series on of the you know, on that like waiting for glue to right. dry kind of thing. This little something I've, I thought of. Right. I thought that would make be interesting. Tell me what you think in the comments. <laughs> All right, let's see here. Let me turn my. What I just turned my mic off. Sorry. Ever try to make a wooden dildo?
I uh, no, I haven't tried that. No. <laughs> Big old set of cock and balls. What do you think about a mushroom-shaped doorknob? That could be possible. Yeah, that'd be cool. I used to have a guy that lived behind me. He used to use the chainsaw stuff, and that's all he really knew how to make was uh, mushrooms. But he'd make, like, these monster six-foot mushrooms in his backyard. For a piece of wood that's small, that's the only thing I can think of. Or even a decorative furniture cap. Yeah, I, I have one that I attempted to make. Well, it's just like a, uh, uh, just a blank of, like a bedpost cap almost. Mm -hmm. Or a, uh, trim accent that you would see on like a top of a, Top corner of a door. Mm hmm. Something like that. All right, here comes the fun part.
poi it finally started to rain. Yeah, we it was supposed to rain here Monday, but it never did. Yeah. We were supposed to have scattered showers all week, but it didn't happen until now. Say just the last time. We gotta be getting close to my screws here shortly. <laughs> Sherry is a little more forgiving than the black walnut. It's a little easier to work with. So I gotta back you guys up a little bit here. Get out the way. So Joe, have you uh, 
glued like a dark wood and a light wood together and created something? Or have you just stuck to one piece of wood? Yeah, I've got a couple of different things. Like this is one here that I glued, glued up. It's uh, black walnut and cherry. Mm -hmm. And my last the live hangout that I did was a uh, segmented tray with black walnut and cherry. And that came out pretty cool. neat. So yeah, I've, I've experimented a couple things here and there. Nothing cool. too crazy yet. <laughs> Nothing like a... Uh... Still in the... Uh, Nothing like a black and white chess set or something. <laughs> Not yet. <laughs> Soon though. Yeah, that's a, that's a little bit labor intensive. Yeah, hey, I, I have think. to show you guys. Well, I have a bunch of uh, pieces that I made up. Um, a king, a queen, a bishop, a rook, and I think that's I think that's it so far. Got a couple pieces that I did anyway. And I did those on my homemade lathe. It's over here in the corner. I don't know. Let's see if I can get it on the camera here. It's hanging up right there. Ah, uh, yeah, I see it. Yeah, hey, where'd Justin go? Yeah, he just. He probably got sick of watching me. <laughs> <laughs> That's like his second or so time he's been in. Yeah. I just keep doing what I'm doing and I'm just way my spots reserved and just come back on them really quick. I didn't I didn't know you could reserve a spot. <laughs> well it's actually nice to be able to like I I'll be in here by myself. I've got the radio on and it gets pretty boring real fast in here but just you know, like yeah. I said, I can get into a mode and just turn away, but it still gets boring. Mm-hmm. So just having got somebody in here to, like, talk to is, is kind of a neat, it's neat for me anyway. It's nice. <laughs> That's kind of like me and Billy with our office work in the morning. <laughs> I'm forced to be in the house for a few hours in the morning to do all my bullshit, and he's usually around the same time, so we bullshit in the morning while I'll try to get our shit done. Uh, I got a little more to go, it looks like. Mmm, smooth. <laughs> well, at least it looks like it anyway.
That's the good stuff. Hey, we're back. The two lobby guys just having the same going. What's up? Is that too loud? No, it's not too loud, but uh, I was just watching on the YouTube feed right now, and you might want to click on your little screen on the bottom left, so that's what shows up on the YouTube feed, because when your mic's muted, it just stays on someone else the whole time. Over the last one good. talk. Good call, good call. So Three hours getting, of being on somebody else. They're not getting the uh, <laughs> full picture. Yeah, that's, gotcha. uh, I just figured that out like two minutes ago. Yeah, I figured yeah, I'd they... come back in here and give you the heads up, but I got to go feed animals right now, so I'll talk to you guys later. Thanks, man. All right. All right. Little bugs are going to work out. I'm going to do a burn effect on this one. 